Hi, it's Maria, um, and today I have for you a Project Pan update for the Food for Thought Project Pan hosted by the Pantastic Ladies. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Um, I do lifestyle, makeup, and um, favorites videos, and an occasional craft video. So if that's what you like, please hit that subscribe button down below, and we'd love to have you um, as one of our friends of our channel. Okay, so we're going to go um, forward with the Project Pan update. This is my finale. Um, for the project and we were to choose five to seven products with food related um, names or packaging and the object of the project pan is to get as much use out of a project as you possibly can um, within that time period so these the first one that I did was I lost my place <laughs> Okay, was the or the L'Oreal Visible Lift blush in the color berry, and I love this blush. I wanted to make a dent in this blush. Um, they had a large dip or a pan, and I've got a medium dip in this. I wouldn't say it was large, I'd say it's more of a medium. I didn't realize how hard it was to use up a blush and um, I'm not sorry I put it in the project because I have found that I really, really like um, cream blushers and in particular, I really like this one. It gives you that lit from within look. I like to put it on with a stipple brush. This is the e.l.f. stipple brush. I believe Emily Noel um, recommended this one too and the days that I didn't have this when I traveled, I really could I really could see a difference. So I really like using this. So I almost hit my goal with that one. <laughs> okay, my second product was the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. I love this palette. I love the colors, the wearable, I like the formula. Um, my original goal was to hit three pans and I have surpassed that. I've actually hit six pans in this palette. This one was here in the, um, what is that, white chocolate. That was here when I first started. But since that time, I've hit pan in salted caramel, marzipan, creme brulee, strawberry bonbon, milk chocolate, and champagne truffle. So there you are. Six additional beautiful pans. My original goal was to hit three pans. And I've hit six. I almost hit a seventh in my amaretto. I tried really, really hard and just didn't make it there. I'll probably hit pan on it tomorrow after I get done filming for this video. But um, I would say that I hit this goal and actually doubled the goal. Um, this particular color, Strawberry Bonbon, I know it looks a little dark pink in the um, pan, but it worked really well as an all over um, base color all over the lid. Um, and I mixed it with a little bit of the white chocolate and it, that's how I managed to use so much of that. And the amaretto color actually, it's, it, it looks like a uh, shimmer, but it, but it acts more like a matte. And so I used that in the outer corner and on the under eye area. Salted caramel I used in the crease. Milk chocolate I like to use on the lid. And these I used as um, inner lid colors, more as a pan, creme brulee. So, still loving this palette. Um, I may roll it into my A to Z project pan, I'm not sure. Um, but, just love it even more now. <laughs> okay, so my third product was the Prada Candy Cologne, or the Parfum, excuse me. This smells like a very um, deluxe um, candy store. It smells very rich and sweet. And I really did love it and I did use it all up. There might be like one more drop in there, but as much as I keep applying this, it's not using up that one drop. Um, so I finished that one. I really enjoyed it. Um, I would buy it again, um, but maybe not so soon because I have other perfumes that I'm working through right now. My fourth product is the Ulta Cole Eyebrow Eyeliner in Plum. And... This is the this is the progress that I made on this this month, and I'm not really enjoying this pencil. It 
It's nice that it's a drier formula because it kind of stays where you put it, but I find that it tugs a little bit, so um, you have to keep it really, you have to sharpen it like almost like every other day. I found that that would help the color go on a little bit smoother. Otherwise it really pulls and I don't really like things pulling at my eye area. The fourth product is the NYX Butter Gloss in Tiramisu. This is a really um, pretty color. It's still at 13 grams. It was 13 grams last month. I, my scale does not go into the, it only goes into this, it doesn't go into any decimals. So I'm not sure, you know, how much of this I've used up. I can tell you I've used it pretty much every day, if not twice a day. And it does feel like it's starting to get to the bottom. It is a really pretty color. Um, right now I was swatching more of a red, but it kind of acts more like a brown when you put it on. And I'm enjoying that. I may roll this into my A to Z project pan also. And my last product was, um, there was these cucumber eye masks. They look like little paper cucumber slices. I did use all of them up and I rolled in this, um, what is this? Vanilla buttercream. Sally Hansen Vitamin E Nail and Cuticle Oil. And this is where I was up here. And at the start of today, I am down to here. So I am using it pretty regularly. I really enjoy this. Um, didn't um, hit my goal, which was to um, use, use it up or use half of it up. Um, oh, maybe I did hit the half up goal. My goal was to use half of it up and I did hit that. So I, I do like this product. However, I don't think I would buy an oil again. I might buy like a cuticle cream because we just got a nice new um, area rug in our bedroom and I'm always afraid <laughs> I'm gonna spill this and it does drip a little bit off the brush when you're putting it on your nails. So for that reason, I probably wouldn't buy it again, but it is doing a great job of moisturizing my nails through the winter months. And that's it. Um, this was my first project pan and I wanted to thank the fantastic ladies for hosting this. And I'm um, looking forward to starting my A to Z project pan with you ladies. And I hope you have a beautiful rest of the day. I love you and just know that there is a force out there that loves you too. That it's bigger than you are. So thanks and have a great day.